Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about application server architecture. We will study the topic application server architecture. Do not confuse this topic with the previous topic. Our previous topic was SAP R by 3 architecture. In that architecture, we have three layers, presentation layer, application layer database layer now we are specifically talking about application layer architecture or we can understand application server architecture so what was the purpose of those three layers presentation layer is the user interaction layer suppose i have sap application how I will interact with SAP application through presentation layer. So presentation layer is the interface between me and the SAP application. Now on the application layer, we have the programs, we have the reports. Yes. So we will write the logic on the application layer and database layer is saving the data. We'll go for an example to come on to the topic application server architecture. Suppose we have a program on the application layer, which is the, which is displaying the data of the employee. Suppose now how I will go for the process from the presentation layer. I will give the input to that program. Suppose. I want to check the data of one to thousand employees. So I will give the input to that program through which layer presentation layer application layer will receive that input. Yes, application layer will receive that input based upon that input. It will go to database. It will bring the data of thousand employees on the application layer and it will be visible to us through presentation layer. Simple, simple understanding. But is this as simple? You gave the input, application layer received the input, it went to database, it bring the data on application and it is visible to us through presentation layer. Is this as simple? No, it is not simple. Whenever in the interview ask this question, We'll go for simple understanding application is is the providing the input to database based upon that input data is coming to application and it is visible to us through presentation but internally how how your application layer or application server is working on the input this is our topic so what are the various parts of that application server or application layer which is taking your input and which is processing your input and giving us the desired result. So our topic is what are the various parts of application layer or application server architecture. Suppose we will go for understanding now. You are giving the input. You are giving the input through presentation layer or presentation mm -hmm. server. This is whole your application server. Whatever the input you are giving, that input is received by the dispatcher. Dispatcher. So dispatcher is the first part of the architecture. Now, it is not the case that dispatcher will work on your input. It will not directly work on your input. It will firstly put, it will firstly put your queue. It will firstly put your request in the queue, in the queue. Have you seen? There is an arrow to the queue. So whatever the request you are giving, it will go to the queue. It will go to the queue. Suppose we are going for 10 requests. So all requests will go to the queue first and from the queue, it will become on first come first serve basis. Suppose we have a request, we have a request for five programs. We are running the five programs. So those five requests will go to the queue, dispatcher queue. 
and it will come from the q on the first come first serve basis so we will read the theory of first part but is dispatcher but is the function of dispatcher but is dispatcher whatever the request you are sending from your presentation layer or presentation server it will firstly go to what dispatcher 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 is the part of your application layer only dispatcher will put them to the dispatcher queue see dispatcher is not directly working on to that firstly it will put them to dispatcher queue it will put them or it will write them to the dispatcher queue now from the queue it will pull the request on first in first out basis so whatever the request is coming first it will pull that request first so never think that dispatcher is simply simply working on to the request no firstly it will put or it will write all your request in the queue and from the queue it will take on first come first serve basis now it took your request now from the queue it took your request now after that it will assign those request to the work process so second part is work process work process so what is work process so once dispatcher will pull out your request it will assign the request to the work process so that work process can work on to those request so we will read the theory of the work process now what is work process each request from the dispatcher is then allocated to first available work process so whatever is first available work process we will assign dispatcher will assign the request to that work process now the most important part a work process only handle one request at a time it is not the case that we can assign multiple request to one one work process a work process only only handle one request at a time now it will take your request suppose we'll go for simple example we want the data of the employee so our request will go to dispatcher dispatcher will put into queue from the queue it will just pull that request it will assign to the work process work process yes will bring the data from the database layer work process will work on to that our particular request now in this architecture we will talk about two important terms first one is user context and the second one is role area important terminology important terminology now in the in, in now in case of work process we have two special memory areas now two special memory areas one is called as user context and the second one is called as role area first one is user context and the second one is role area these are two memory areas two memory areas so what are these two memory areas firstly what is user context in the previous videos we covered and in the future you will automatically understand you sap is a user based license agreement it means we will provide the username and password and we will log in into sap so what is user context user context is a memory that contains information about the user user context is a memory area that contains the information of the user suppose when a user whenever a user is logged in this memory will be allocated to that user so what is user context word itself is saying whenever a user logged in a, a memory will be allocated to that user and that memory will give us the information about the user 
that at what time it logged in, how many sessions it opened, how many programs does this user is working. So that user context is all about the information about the user. Now, this user context area, whenever a user will log off, it will automatically free. So what is user context? It is a memory allocated to the user whenever a user logged in after that and it contains the information about the user. Now, what is role area? Role area. A role area is a memory which has the information about the program execution. Whenever you will run the program, whenever you will run the program, a specific memory will be allocated. Whenever a program runs, a role area is allocated to that program and that is called as a role area memory. And whenever your program ends, that role area will automatically free. When you finish the program, that role area memory will be free. Important terminology. User context is a memory allocated to the user. Role area is a memory allocated when a program runs. Now, we'll just revise what we studied in the topic. Very, very conceptual topic, yes. Whenever you are giving a request or whenever you are giving a input, it does not mean that application layer or server is taking the input and it is giving the result to you. No, internally how, how that application server is processing your request. Firstly, the first part of application server is dispatcher. Dispatcher will take your request and it will not directly assign to the work process. It will firstly, firstly put the request into the queue and from the queue, it will take the request on first in, first out basis. It will take the request in first in, first out basis. Now, after that, Dispatcher will assign the request to the available work process. A work process can only, only handle one request at a time. Whenever we will talk about work process, we have two memory areas will be allocated at that point of time, two specific memory areas. First one is user context area and second one is role area. User context is is there is a memory area which has the information about the user. Whenever a user will log in, yes, user context will be allocated to that login. Whenever a user log off, yes, that memory will be free. And what is role area? Role area is a memory and which has the information about the program execution. Whenever a program runs, a role area will be allocated to that program. And when a program finish, yes, that role area is also free. Extremely important topic because whenever we ask in the interviews, yes, how, how your input is getting processed, they will unable to give the answer. But internally, this is the way how application server is taking your input or processing your input. So that's it in this video. Thank you.